Hey guys, epan 47 Dominus here, and today I'm going to be doing episode 3 of OS Overview. So in this episode I'm going to be talking about 4 OS's, and uh, I won't be able to show you 2 of them because I wasn't able, I wasn't able to set them up. I have um, the images for them to set, uh, the setup images, but uh, I kept getting errors and I just said that I wouldn't do it, so... Sorry if my computer's running loud, by the way. I have no idea why it's doing this. It's been doing this all the time. I have a cooler under it to hopefully try and cool it down and calm it down. If you can't hear me that well, um, two of my headsets broke over the last week or two. So hopefully I'll be getting a new one soon. So, um, here's our four OSs that we're going to be talking today about. There, it's starting to cool down a little. Um. We have Windows 95, Windows 98, Windows 2000, and Windows Millennium Edition. Uh, it's also known as Windows Me. And the first one we'll be talking about today is Windows 95. So, um, you really won't, you really can't see what Windows 95 is about because I couldn't set it up. So, um, but pretty much all four of these look similar. So, I mean, I probably won't talk about 95 and 98 that much just that they all look very similar in um, comparison to each other so I'm just looking up a picture quick for you guys to see what it looks like here so this is what the desktop of Windows 95 looked like look like um, you see that has the start button on the top on the bottom left and it has the time and uh, your notifications and stuff on the bottom right and it also has the icons on the desktop. You can also change your desktop background. So uh, this was Windows 95. Now, if I can find a Windows 98 a background, I can show you because 98 and the second edition of 98 really aren't that much of a difference. So uh, let me look up 98 real quick. So this is the Windows 98 desktop. Um, so really, as you see, not a lot different, it's just that if you see right in this area here, not the text here, but the there's a little uh, darker colored box there. You also have icons here on the bottom. Start button's not different, and they also just kept the icons there. So, so we have two of the OS's down, actually. We have 95 and Windows 98. Now we'll be talking about Windows 2000. And this is one of my favorite um, early OS's, actually, in my opinion. So this is Windows 2000 Professional. This was basically one of the NT builds here. So let me control delete and log in. And as you can see, that is the uh, startup sound for Windows 2000 and that's one of my favorites actually as well so this is the desktop of Windows uh, 2000 as you see the start button is not different it's not changed from 98 or 95 this thing isn't changed over here the taskbar over here on the right side isn't changed from 98 as well uh, I was able to get sound on this and the times here, that's the actual time. And you can see that I can right click and hit properties. And I can, I think I can change my screen resolution. Nope, I can't. That's the highest it can go. But you can change your desktop background to a different one. So let's just say, I like this one, for example, I just hit apply. And then just hit yes. And it'll apply it. And back then they only had um, 16 colors, not 32 like you have now, or that you saw on Windows XP. Um, so you can change your desktop background in this. And you see that you have your uh, start menu here, you have some programs here, you have folders here of programs, documents, settings, search, help run. And you can also shut down your computer. So if you hit shut down, it'll give you a little kind of effect on the desktop background. And then it'll bring you to your options of either logging off, 
shutting down and restarting so I won't do that right now we'll go a little bit through this OS so um, you can change your settings of this I actually I think have it connected to the internet so I can actually access uh, Internet Explorer I think so if I sometimes I have trouble double clicking so I'm just going to go ahead and open the home page I should be able to yep but it'll look a lot different because of how um, long this OS was oops so let's see what Google was like or Google is like now in uh, Microsoft 2000 so as you see it has some color distortion here you can't doesn't really look like the colors that are now and it doesn't have the uh, black bar up here it has just a white bar with uh, clickable buttons up here but still you can uh, I can still access the internet on Windows 2000 even though they don't do support for this OS anymore and they won't be doing support of XP until next uh, until April of this year so um, if I want to go to YouTube for example I can actually go to YouTube and it'll take me to that page but it won't be as good as it is now but it'll probably say, yep, our, uh, the browser's uh, unsupported because it's an older browser. It's Internet Explorer 5, I think. Um, 4 or 5, I think it's 5. But So you can access the Internet if you're able to. On I ha I'm using this on a virtual machine, as you know. And um, so can run things as I said I don't know if this has a calculator but I'll try it so if I run it's calculator yep it does have a calculator so you can run programs and everything just like you can now it's just that it looks a little different and there's not as much color so that's Windows 2000 it's actually called Windows 2000 professional it was part of uh, NT because you can actually connect to uh, domains and everything if you're using server or whatever so we're going to shut down and I think you'll be able to hear the shutdown sound as well. No, I guess not. I don't know. I had it turned on before but I guess it didn't do it this time so uh, that was Windows 2000. Now our fourth OS Windows Me, Windows Millennium Edition. So uh, this was a OS that was completed in four months after Windows 2000 was released in February it was released in uh, eight, it was in shoot it was released in um, June of 2000 so it was four months after Windows 2000 so if we go ahead and log in here oops tighten my password quick has the same login sound as Windows 2000 and I actually have a background on here you can still change your background and stuff but um, what Windows Millennium was known for after a while was for its uh, lack of uh, lack of capability and with everything it had a lot of crashes and uh, blue, it had a blue screen a lot and everybody was complaining that it was a really bad OS and in my opinion I definitely think it's a bad OS um, and people actually called it Mistake Edition, or um, there was another thing that people called it, but I just know that it was called Mistake Edition. Um, so, the mouse is harder to move around in this for some reason. See, it's like skipping and everything. See if I, yeah, see if I move it out here, it'll skip. Yep, like that. But pretty much, this is just pretty much the exact same thing of Windows 2000 just that they thought it was better but actually it's not now but pretty much it was just like I said the exact same thing as Windows 2000 but I think this is actually an OS that was meant for more um, home users instead of work users so work users would pretty much keep uh, Windows 2000 uh, so I uh, don't need to go through Millennium because it's pretty much just the same thing as 2000 so that is Windows Millennium and that concludes my uh, third episode of OS Overview uh, reviewing Windows 95, 98, Windows 2000 and Windows 
Millennium Edition, so uh, I'm sorry it was actually shorter than usual, I think, because I did not have 95 and 98, but at least I got to show you at least some pictures of them, but uh, thanks for watching OSO Preview Episode 3, and in the next episode I will be doing um, Windows XP and um, Windows XP, Windows Vista, and Windows 7, possibly. I might save that for the episode after, but um, just XP and um, Vista for sure. Um, for who, who all I know, for all I know, I could do a Linux start of a Linux series. So at least in the next Microsoft Windows episode, it'll be XP and Vista. So thanks for watching again. I'll see you guys in the next episode.